What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Shout out to all those beginner investors and traders out there. Y'all already know who it is. But if you don't, from here on now, nothing goes down unless we're involved. Apes, you hear us? From here on out, nothing goes down unless apes are involved. No blackjack, no dope deals, no stock trades, no nothing. A nickel bag is sold in the park. We want in. You hedges got fat Why everybody starved. It's our turn. Hey, what's going on? Shout out to all those beginner investors and traders out there. Y'all already know what it is. It's Kavad Ray Valentine. Y'all done pulled up to the block market. I wanted to say, show y'all what's going on in the portfolio. One of them at least because we get a lot of movement after hours. And it looks like GameStop is still king of the power moves. Okay? Because we have a $10 jump, and that's just after hours. So, you know, I wanted to get you beginner investors and traders out there warmed up and ready just in case you still have GameStop, uh, if you have AMC as well. Um, you know, and there's a bunch of other companies out there that's been shorted, SOS, and then DM. I mean, it's just so many different companies, man. Bad, bad, beyond. Uh, you know, they, they got Nokia. Uh, they all over. You know what I'm saying? So we uh, know that it's a lot going on in the stock market. We got the SEC lawsuit with Ripple breaking down. You know, just been set up. Uh, XRP's just been set up to deal with CBDCs. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's looking like XRP is about to make a move. I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to bring this video to you, fellow beginner investors and traders out there to kind of, you know, get you in a good spirit. You know, N not to say you're not, you know, but because we were. Uh, experienced some dips and people were feeling some type of way and that was the best time to jump in because they setting up a home run you know what i'm saying you got elon messing with the doge you know you got them dropping bitcoin so that people can jump in you got these institutions these banks that's finally seeing the light they finally see the big picture when it comes to blockchain and uh uh, crypto so you know and how lucrative it will be because it's the future you know what i'm saying so i just wanted to you know jump on that real quick and talk to y'all and say man amc is looking primed and ready you know i already got the dual charts ready and for y'all but I, I i in my opinion like i said from the patterns and watching uh you know these stocks move uh for the last year just about or a little bit more uh it's clear that amc is moving what gamestop but after checking out the charts it looks like gamestop will push amc uh in my opinion i'm not i'm not you know a financial advisor i'm not investing guru you know but from the moves that gamestop is making we should we probably will see AMC make a stronger move, you know, because if you notice when AMC was trying to move by itself, we kept hitting them walls like they hit us with the fifteen dollar, the wall of fifteen dollars yesterday, last week. Uh, we got hit, you know, what I mean, uh, a couple of times. But as you can see. We starting to break. Through, we're starting to break out of that. So, you know, you, we can expect, you know, uh, another jump. And I'm still going to stick with, I said, you know, as far as this squeeze taking place or 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 the pressure building up overnight, because we've been getting in this habit of saying squeeze and squeezing and squeezing. And that's not happening. And that's not what ha was happening. You know, it's actually buying pressure. So, you know, um, we should see a build up in AMC around this time. You know, uh, that's when. GameStop happened to move. It was about four or something in the morning, five in the morning or something like that. So, you know, I don't think I'll be able to actually, let me go back for, uh, it'd be a little bit easier. Yeah, then you can easily, look at that movement. It's the same, it's the same, it's the same. Okay. So, okay, yeah, we get back to January, and it was around, it's, yeah, it 
was around here. This is when this pop started with GameStop. It had to be around the 20th. So, trying to figure out. Yeah, that's when we started getting a little bit of movement. GameStop. So, I need to do. I need. I should have did this a little bit earlier so I could check the time for y'all around what time because I know it was early in the morning. That's when I I was up. I was watching it and it just did this power move that was just I I, I couldn't believe it. I mean, you know, that was the first time I ever witnessed you know my portfolios jump ten fifteen thousand dollars at a time. Like I was just like, what in the hell's going on? You know, so, you know, being still being new and being a beginner, you know, I'm still kind of, you know, <laughs> trying to, you know, grasp how powerful <laughs> the stock market is. I mean, there are definitely other investments that you could get into, but I mean, I was blown away. But, um, yeah, as you can see, man, it looks like GameStop is about to push AMC, man, over the top. And hopefully... You know, we get to those marks that, you know, some of us think it could reach, you know, over a, a thousand. And, you know, if it does, man, I just can't think about I mean, I can't think about it going to 100,000. But, you know, I could just think about how many people I can help if it does, even if it does go over a thousand, if it goes to 500, a thousand, it's just so many people I can help. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my agenda. That's what I plan on doing, you know, and for all those bots and shields and all those brainwashed individuals, please, man, keep leaving the comments. I mean, you're not in, you're not doing anything but embarrassing yourself. Uh, because you're dealing with a rational human being that's just have that that's trying to have you know adult dialogue and 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 be able to criticize and have your own opinion about something that we have been left out of the loop for so long. You know, if it wasn't for GameStop, people wouldn't even have figured this out as far as what's going on. So that's the reason why you know. I keep doing these videos because I was a part of that. You know, uh, I had over 400 shares of GameStop. You know what I'm saying? I'm um, still holding over 100, you know. Um, and I just, uh, because this is not the only portfolio I hold uh, GameStop. Uh, this is not the only portfolio I have GameStop. Uh, and other ones as well. And, you know, I after witnessing that, I just don't want fellow beginner investors and traders to get caught in that, you know, FOMO. Now, if you already hold AMC and you were catching it at, you know, five bucks and six bucks and seven bucks and 10 and 14 and, and it jumped to, you know, a hundred bucks or above, then, you know, you know, we definitely hit, you got a home run, you know what I'm saying? But if you start jumping in, when we start to reach, you know, 90 and 100, you know, those are the ones that I want to try to watch out for because of the halt that took place with GameStop, you know, and you know, Robinhood and uh, other brokerages, because it wasn't just Robinhood. Everybody keep on trying to, you know, put the spotlight on Robinhood. It was several brokerages that had a problem with uh, uh, GameStop and and buying at that time. So, you know, I just want to, you know, just kind of, like I said, bring some perspective and keep people level headed. That's it. I mean, I'm not no, <laughs> like I said, financial advisor, but at the same time, I think any mistake that a person made, you know, or a person makes could be, could help someone else. So that's what this is. I, I would hate for to see someone make the mistakes that we did or, you know, I did. Uh, uh, it was, I could have sold. Listen, it was a time that, you know, just three months ago, two months ago when GameStop jumped back up to like 300 bucks. Like I could have literally sold uh, about 50, 60 shares capitalize on like 20 grand right and then it dropped that down to like 30 bucks i could have bought all those shares back and more and then jump and then jump uh stayed in and actually capitalized a lot more but i didn't you know because of this belief that we could reach a thousand dollars you know or better and uh Based on the Volkswagen squeeze, that's one of the reasons why I sat in it, because they didn't halt that. But once 
AMC came about and all these other shorts uh, companies that were being shorted and I started doing my homework, it was a reason they didn't let GameStop blow. Between the fundamentals, between the investors and the sh and at the time, you got to remember that uh, GameStop was the number one shorted stock on the stock market at the time. Between all those, you know, factors right there and the fundamentals changing, uh, turning GameStop into a better business, it would have caused it, it, the, the squeeze for AM, uh, games, AMC wouldn't. Would, it's only it's only reached this magnitude because of all of the hype surrounding GME. And in my opinion, AMC wouldn't have touched GameStop if it would have squeezed. That's just my opinion. AM GameStop has too much, you know, and too much surrounding it as far as uh the fundamentals and the the potential that it has in the future. On top of the fact that the share price alone, alone will be close to a thousand dollars or more if GameStop happens to reconfigure everything the way that they 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 plan on doing, especially with Ryan Cohan at Spearhead and everything. So that's just my opinion. Remember, I'm a beginner, beginner investor and trader, but at the same time, man, I love this and um, you know, anything that can be, you know. Add it, please, man. Put it in the comments. If you got some info, you got some strategies, some tips, all that, man. Drop them down in the comment box so we can keep learning, teaching other beginner investors and traders, and keep getting these dollar dollar bills, this cream. And for any of you guys, for any of you traders, getting tired or ripped off by fake content creators and hedgies, we'll be down at the Plaza Hotel. You're more than welcome. You're more than welcome to come and join. They out there panicking right now. I can feel it. They out there. They're panicking. Look at them. Now, you're not naive enough to think we're living in a democracy, are you, buddy? It's a free market. And you're part of it. Something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. You got a minute? After everything we've done for you. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. See, Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poorhouse at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won. I lost. One dollar. Thank you, Louis. After you. Certainly. 